Hello again there, you eager beavers, and welcome back to Timberborn. Hello, good to see you all here. Raptor here with some more of this fun little building game as we're now approaching the uh, end of some of the research. We've got plenty of research points gathered up now, 187 to be precise, but we're going to need thousands and thousands of research points in order to research some of the end game items. Our beavers now are starting to cut down some of the things in the uh, corners of the forest, and we have forestry buildings on either side that are doing a good job of cutting down all of the trees that are required to create a ton of logs that are required in order for us to continue to make planks and a few other things too. So welcome back, thanks for your support as always, and we're going to continue on by trying to build some more homes and things for all of our extra uh, beavers that are coming in. We have homes for 22 it seems, with uh, about like 18 or 19 here, so we can continue on building where we, uh, I guess, left off. Oh, we got to build a little road here too, don't we? Let's see here. Got to connect this one right there. I was adding a little road in the meantime, but there was a tree in the way. So now we can go ahead and continue to add on to our homes and make them multi-story apartment buildings. This is kind of cool. And uh, also uh, make some, uh, like, platforms or something. I I'm actually kind of curious to see if I can make, like, a stairwell uh, that can go up between these houses here and serve as a way to get to the second floor, that kind of thing. Like a highway above the... Uh, or a road above the highway, so we'll see how it all goes. All right, well, we got ourselves two carrot fields ready to go, and also a potato field. We got plenty of grilled potatoes, berries, and carrots ready for our uh, little beavers, too. With plenty of food and plenty of science points coming in, we should be good for a while. Let's see what one of the next things we could build is next. Uh, scaffolding, that'd be a good idea to unlock. Large warehouse and a water tank, though we can't really build anything with gears yet. Uh, let's see, we just need to get the population up, basically in order to uh, manufacture the gears that we need. So let's see, a gear workshop or a paper mill. Let's go ahead and unlock the gear workshop. Although we know we're going to need a lot more beavers now. So basically we just need to worry about food and housing so we can boost up our population big enough so that way we can actually build some of these uh, end game buildings. So let's see if we can maybe build that highway here. For our beavers to get up to. So let's build like a little, um, let's build like a little stairwell here. Then we should be able to build on top of that. Ah. Excellent. Yep, so this beaver should be able to get there. Unfortunately, we can't change where the door is, though. So we'll have to make it a little longer. But you see what I'm trying to do. Something along these lines. There we go, and then we'll just extend the platform out. It is, it is possible. And then I can build like another stairwell here that'll go even higher, I bet. Let's see if we can do that. Or can we only go two floors? Oh, I wanted to do like a third floor. Oh, is there a way to go up? There's got to be a way to go up. Oh, I want to I put like a thing on top of these buildings. Looks like maybe we can only go too high. But regardless, it's looking good. All right, plenty of uh, trees still to cut down from the beavers. Plenty more wood to be brought over. And also plenty of uh, wood to be brought to the, uh, what do they call it, the plank? Oh, the carpenter. We'll just call that the sawmill for now. That makes sense to turn uh, planks into, or logs into planks that way. And all the rest of the beavers should be working on cutting down trees. Although a lot of them are needed for farming. Okay. Well, we'll just wait for things to be done over time. And uh, more food to be gathered. We just gotta wait now until the beaver population grows big enough. We have housing for 26, and we just need some more materials to be delivered for the... Uh, footbridge here, so two logs, two planks for each section of the footbridge. So we're going to need a lot more materials. And a lot more, uh, well, we just need beavers to do all the all the jobs. Alright, we're generating plenty of science, too. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way to speed that up. Let's see what else we can research here. So we have our gear workshop now, too, unlocked. We may as well just keep generating science, though. Oh, it looks like we have high shafts as well, so that way we can build uh, planks up and uh, build scaffolding above buildings. That's kind of cool. Let's see, shrubs and, uh, wow, some of these are expensive. Six logs and two planks to build a bench. Jeez. And the monuments, too, which we'll need eventually uh, later on. Hmm. What else can we do? I want to expand the number of workers we have here. Go ahead and turn off our science buildings now and get everybody on gathering materials. We don't necessarily need immediate science at the moment. We certainly will at some point, but we need more materials to be gathered, so let's put everybody on that 
job. And if we expand with those uh, beacons, now we can build some beacons to get to the other sides. Uh, labor beacons, let's try those. Forgot exactly what they're called. A labor flag, right. So it looks like we can expand it slightly. And we'll need to build a bridge across to the other side of the river if we're going to take advantage of that forest. I think we'll take advantage of this forest instead. Yeah, we'll have to do it down here, I believe. Hmm. Yeah, we certainly need to get a forest up and operational as soon as possible. Build that just like this. Some of the trees are in the way. So we can assign workers in groups of two unless we build another labor house out there. Or a hauling post. But we're going to need way more population now for this. So it looks like we can have up to 30 adults. And we have 24, I think, in total. Well, 24 uh, beavers and 30 uh, housing for the adults plus 15 for the kids. And eventually these pathways will be done and everyone should be able to reach the second story of their home. Soon. Well, this is going to be looking quite neat, actually, I think. All right, let's go ahead and continue to cut these trees down. There we go, nice. And we should be able to make a path between here. Just need that other tree out of the way. Cut that down. Oh, it's still growing. So we won't be able to cut it down until it's fully grown. Okay, so now we just basically wait for our beavers to grow. Oh, looks like we have water output taking place too. Although we need somewhere to store that water. So we'll turn that off as well so we can conserve our labor towards uh, basically just building our population. Looks like we're going to need some more food too. And more potato fields might do it, as that'll only require two workers. Doesn't look like there's any other way for us to build smaller ones. Oh, this would fit in here nicely. Ah, oh, but that bush is in the way, so let's get rid of that. Let's do another potato field. Excellent. And now we just want food and homes. We've got to boost that population up so we can do a lot more. We need labor. All right, they're doing their deeds. All these trees can be cut down. Ah, forestry building doing a good job of regrowing. Same here. We'll need two beavers to work at that field, too. And let's authorize some more home construction. Actually, let's build the pathways first. That makes it a little bit more efficient. There we go. Nice. Now the beavers can live on the second story. And let's build a little pathway to get up there. Nice. Nice. Okay, looks like the labor building is full, but that leaves plenty of room, I think, for the small warehouse. And also, uh, our log pile, too, has a little bit of room. About 100 remaining for that one. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, 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 54 unreachable trees. We're okay with that. And we need more laborers here. So, we've... We're... So, uh, we, we, we're supplying food, we're supplying water, we've got homes. It's just going to take time now in this game in order for people to actually move in and, um, you know, like have children and eventually grow our labor force big enough to where we can do more than just a few jobs at a time. Uh, we're going to need about like 10 extra workers to do what we truly want to do, which is expand our logging operation, because we're beavers after all, and then start turning all that into planks. It looks like our uh, people are auto-foresting that building, too, so they're bringing over logs as needed. That's kind of cool. 
Alright, so how do we get the beavers to, like, procreate faster? I'm assuming maybe to increase aesthetics, maybe? Make them happier in how things look? Average well-being is at 6. So I wonder if we improve things with science. If we build, like, for example, a bench and uh, some roofs, if that'll improve things. 12 logs to build a shrub. Let's unlock pr uh, the pretty stuff. Let's see what we can do about that. Let's do a, a, a roof, actually. And let's see if we can build some nice-looking homes here. Let's start with one on that house and see how it goes. Looks like that requires two planks and four logs, to which we have a, 11 planks and 109 logs. So that's perfect. So let's increase the quality of the homes and see if that increases everybody's happiness in the city. So we're at well-being six right now. So let's see if we can increase that. Put down some bushes here and there. Nice. And our goals. Ah! So the ultimate goal in the game is to unlock other difficulties. Eager Beaver, for example, we're at 6 out of 8. Unlocked by reaching an average well-being of 8. And then uh, 11 for the Fancy Beaver. So right now we're at 6. Ah, so fun needs to be improved. So we can inc uh, increase things like social life or nutrition or knowledge or spirituality. So let's go ahead and increase the, um, I guess the fun. We can work on that too. Via leisure. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming the campfire is probably both leisure and also fun. Social slash... Slow... Uh, oh, temple. Does that show exactly what it does? Ah, satisfies knowledge. Satisfies spirituality. Satisfies fun. So the carousel is something we're going to need to unlock too. As soon as we get our... Uh, science centers operational again. So right now we just need more beavers so we have more jobless so we can actually put them to work there. Otherwise I want to make sure all of our farm fields are good to go. Food's looking a little low, not too bad, but we certainly could pr uh, improve upon that and get more. Good. Soon. So that's kind of cool, so we can improve upon that with maybe monuments. Maybe that improves things too, or maybe that's just a waste of money just to get it done. So a temple satisfies spirituality, social life, knowledge, and then fun. So each one of these will have to be researched to get that well-being up. We're now at seven well-being. Fantastic. So we certainly worked on that social life improvement. So the next thing we should work on is knowledge and spirituality. That's just going to require science points. But again, in order to do that, we need more and more beavers here. So that's what we're trying to grow here today. Population increasing up to 31. Great. Let's see if we make a second story to this house. And, uh, I think what we'll do is this. Let's build ourselves a little pathway here. Like that. And then we'll build a scaffolding footbridge. And we'll build another home over here, too. Good. Soon. Soon. Well, it looks like everybody's really thirsty, too. Let's turn on our water building again. That seems to give them drinks a lot faster. There we go. That's much faster. Cool. Alright, scaffolding is good to go. Let's continue to build homes then. So we'll have to build a road underneath here. Oh, let's build it like this. Let's have one house going there. Oh, it'll have to be built first. Okay. Nope. Oh wow, they built it right away. Holy crap, these beavers are fast. And we'll build more roads that connect these places. There we go. Looks like there's a little shrub there that's gotta go. I can't move that out of the way. Blueberry seedling. Oh, it's got to be grown before I can actually delete it. So it's got to grow, then we got to harvest it, then we, can, then we can build a little road in front of the house. Okay, makes sense. Well, we can build a second store here so long as we're building scaffolding that leads to it. And boom, another house connected. Beautiful. Which means more roofs, which means more satisfaction. Cute. How nice. Alright, we have three jobless beavers so far. 
So I think we can start turning back on our science buildings to unlock stuff eventually. So let's turn on three of those. And rebuild a pathway over here. This kind of looks cool. I don't want it to look like... Uh, I don't want it to look perfect. Oh. We'll have to build that one there. Yes. Alright, let's see. What can we put down next? Some more decorations, maybe? Oh, let's unlock that bench. Let's try it. Let's try a few benches. So it looks like the the beavers don't even go on to the second story. Or maybe that's just because nobody's living up there yet. Let's put a few benches down around town. Give our beavers a break. There we go. Alright, looks like we're getting pl plenty of logs. I don't think we have to expand too much further. We're almost maxed out at logs. We just need more planks made. So let's give our people another uh, work at a uh, water wheel. Let's build another carpenter. Let's see. We need to... Needs to connect to the road and a water wheel. So right here might be okay. Trees are in the way, though. Oh, maybe we could build one here. Actually, we should build it right next to the coast, shouldn't we? Let's build another water wheel. Okay, get this connected. Where's the door? Right there. Perfect. Ah, now we have five jobless. Good. Now we can start filling some jobs. So this game is all prohibited by how many people we have in the city. Let's get another person as a scientist. Alright, now, how often are these being produced? Three science points. And it looks like they can produce maybe like six each per day. So, let's say it's maybe six to twelve each times four. That's a pretty good amount. But we're going to need more. Let's build some roofs. Where's our decorations? There we are. Oh, we can even put it on this thing. Neat. Uh, let's put it, like, right here. We can't put it right in the middle. And we can't hang it over, so let's just add one. Just makes it look fancy, I guess. And what do we need here? 25 planks in order to build the... Oh, that's a gear workshop. My mistake. I didn't want to build that yet. Well, maybe we should. Let's, let's actually build the gear workshop now. And then let's build ourselves a, another building... Another carpenter. Good. Gear workshop, good. Carpenter, good too. Well, we could extend this a little bit. I got an idea. Let's build that. And we can actually build a power extender. Like that there, you see. Uh, construction site is too far from labor. Is build more paths. Oh, we should have built this before we built the building. Okay. So let's build this first. Then we'll need to build a thing to go into the building. And then the building itself. Something like that, maybe. And with any extra space, we can add more shrubs, and that'll add to the average well-being of the beavers. Oh, wow, that's cool. Now, wow! This town is bumping now. Good. How much housing do we have? 44, it seems. Room for 44 adult beavers and 22 children. So we've got about room for 10 more. Good. We'll need to make some more planks then. Is anyone... Uh-oh. Is anyone else triggered how this rotates this way and this rotates the other way? Uh-oh. Oh, well. It's not too big of a deal. Alright, 34 beavers now. With six of them jobless. Can we add more to the labor sites? No. Nope. 
Okay. What else can we do for jobs? I kind of just want to increase uh, studying um, knowledge and such, but we should add to more planks, shouldn't we? And convert a lot of that. Looks like we have two, though. Two might be enough. And it's one per building. How are we doing on food? Food is particularly low. Oh, we're going to need an area for farming, aren't we? Uh, let's see. What can we do to upgrade our next... Uh, let's go for more food. And that'll increase our uh, beaver's quality of life because it'll give them nutrition level 3, I think. So let's unlock this remaining stuff here. Ah, here we go. Wheat field. Nice. Good spot right there. Okay, put some workers to work on that. And then, we'll have a mill. Now, does this mill need to be powered by water? I think it has to be powered by water. Yes, requires connected shaft. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put it this way. Uh, actually, I better make sure I put the water wheel down first. Oh, that'll be fine. If we build that there, then we build the mill here. We'll let them finish that job first. Nice having all the jobless, because now we can fill some of those jobs. Like, for example, the wheat field that just immediately started working. And now we have our mill and bakery. We'll put the bakery right here. Perfect. All right, now... Just things need to be constructed and paths need to be cleared. Let's authorize cl uh, clear cutting these trees again. They're not as big yet as the other trees were, but we're going to run out of logs soon enough. We need more foresters. Alright, now we can build up on supplies for a little while. Oh, looks like we have people making gears, too. So pl eight planks are needed to make gears, I think. Or is it a one-to-one? -one? We'll see. How many do we have in storage? Gears uh, are zero out of 20. So they'll make them soon. Everybody going for a little drink at the end of the day? It's like a bar. Yeah, we didn't even really build like a, a water pump. It's more of a bar for our, <laughs> our little beavers. Oh, good. We got seven unemployed. That's great. We can put them to work on the, the fields constantly. Let's build another farm field here, maybe. Uh, we need those trees to be cut. Running out of space, but maybe if we cut this area down... Add some more wheat to this area. Nice. Uh, hmm. And we'll cut these trees down here. There we go. Alright, so it looks like everything's good to go. Ooh, some people are hungry. Luckily we got plenty of grilled potatoes standing by. But it won't be enough, so good timing on us building the mill. And the bakery will have to go up tomorrow as soon as we have gears ready. And we'll have to see what we can do about making uh, more stuff for our eager beavers. I wonder if one. I wonder if we can make multiple water wheels supply multiple buildings with power. I don't think we can do that, though. And we're kind of running out of space to build buildings. I could squeeze in another one right here, another workshop. But it'll need to be clear-cut here. So let's do another carpenter here. Oh, no, 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 no. First build the power wheel. Sorry, folks, sorry, sorry. False alarm. Build the power wheel first. Let's slow down time a little bit. And let's build the carpenter second. 
We will name it John Carpenter. All right, we have 440 research points. That seems to be enough for a while. And having four jobless is good every time we build something. It's always requiring more labors, plus the uh, bakery will need workers soon. So we should always have a few jobless just in case we want to expand to something. We have one gear. Excellent. Ah, that's where they're going. They're getting delivered here. Perfect. So just a few more gears to complete. Let's build this road here. And we'll need that water wheel completed tomorrow. I wish we could expand this area to seat more people. We could probably do a, like a double decker on it. Okay, let's wait for daytime. We also have our people working 18 hour days, which is probably a good idea. They are working uh, mostly at the farms, and I would rather uh, be tired than dead of starvation, to be honest. Okay, carpenter here. Excellent, that'll produce even more uh, planks for us, so that means more output to the gear workshop. And then we'll stop building for a while to let our plank production keep up with our gear production, so that way everything's going good. Oh, there's a little building there. I mean, a little uh, roadway there. So the bakery needs to go that side. Cool, let's add some decorations. Let's add a couple of nice little bushes here. Maybe another cute be bench there. Nice. All right, the bakery should be the next thing completed as soon as we have the gears. We're at four out of five. So one more gear and we're good. And that should be an increase in, in our food. Uh, interesting, it considers water to be under the food tab too. So hopefully tomorrow we'll have plenty of food under our production. I don't know if we have any wheat yet, but it looks like some potatoes will be ready tomorrow. Maybe we could delete these farms of carrots and start producing more bread. However, it seems like we want to have three different tiers of food. Nutrition one is carrots, nutrition two is potatoes, and nutrition three uh, will be the uh, uh, will be the bread as soon as we get there. It looks like Nutrition 2 needs some more fields, though, in order for us to hit the achievement on that one. So two carrot fields, three potato fields, and maybe another wheat field. How are we doing on our food? Ah, the bakery is finally ready. Good, and somebody is working there. And it looks like it requires logs in order to produce that stuff. Oh, we might actually finally experience our first deaths here in the city. From a little lack of food. Wait a minute, don't beavers just eat wood? Wouldn't every time they go and cut down a log be them, like, literally just eating? Okay, well, we have 89 potatoes. Oh, we're seeing our first deaths. Oh, boy. All right, well, that's a big fat rip to some of those guys, but that's okay. We're producing enough food for the next day, I think. Well, I wish we were a little more lenient with food. It's almost like uh, banished in that way. But we did build the uh, bakery as soon as, as soon as we could. Potatoes are at 91%. Oh, let's do some science. We got our science centers down here. We can build our temple finally. That'll increase well-being. Printing press too, we're pretty close to that. Decorations are all unlocked. Yeah, we won't need those. What can we unlock now? Oh yes, we have our scaffolding. That's not really needed at the moment. Large warehouse. Hmm. Oh, the water tank, yeah. Well, that won't be needed at the moment. But we'll see to that in a little bit. Looks like the population's taking a dip then. It's, oh, wow. We're actually about to see what happens in this game when we run out of foot. How, how brutal is it? It's almost on the level of Banished, yeah. Yeah, because what we'd want to do right now is shut down all the... Uh, shut down all the, the carpenters and stuff and focus solely on food. Yeah, let's do that. Focus solely now on creation of food, and let's see how that goes. 
All right, yeah. I, actually, I'm curious to see, like, if you get in trouble like this and have massive death, what's the best way to recover from that? I'm kind of curious to see. Now, I can probably reload the save and just make sure I prioritize making uh, the food a little bit earlier, which is okay. Carrots and such are about to be delivered, so that's fine. We'll just put everybody on food production. All right, all the jobs should be taken care of today. We're down to three, so let's get people off the mill and the bakery. Oh, wow, look at that. We got completely wiped out with five. Only two beavers left. Uh, I can't make them... Oh, wow. Are we going to be white? Let's see here. If we can get him to... Oh, he's dead. That's it. <laughs> the entire town is wiped out within like a 24-hour period. That's amazing. Hold on. Let's slow things down here. Well, I'm shortening the day. Okay, so what we need to do is what we built was more for nutrition, for well-being. But what we should do is prioritize the potato production because when you get potatoes they really produce quite a bit. So I'll go back and just convert this wheat field to potatoes so that way we can constantly have potatoes, one being harvested, one halfway grown, and another one being planted, and that should pr provide a constant supply to the bakery. Otherwise, a really good job of this. Let's jump back just for a quick second. Wait, did that tell me everybody died? No. Let's jump back to, uh, let's see, day 38. What, what day are we on now? 40... Uh, five. Oh, actually, yeah, let's jump back to day 42. I want to see what happens here. Ooh, this is easily correctable, then. Just convert uh, the wheat instead of to wheat to potatoes, and that should provide a constant source until we've got a little bit more of a diverse uh, thingy here. So where were we? So everything was made. Everybody's starving. Oh, so wait a minute. We're not going to have enough time for uh, per 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 the potato production. Let's see if we can work everyone to exhaustion instead. Then let's let's try that. See if we can see if we can make sure the food grows. Let's try that instead. So everybody wiped out around day like 45. So let's try day 42 and give us a little bit of a chance to harvest these potatoes. Wow, that is crazy. This game is on the difficulty level of banished, at least in terms of the food production, and I like that. That's really cool. Okay, let's see. Yep, no one's sleeping anymore. Sleep is prohibited. Like I mentioned earlier, I'd rather be uh, sleepy than dead. Alright, so it looks like the potatoes create 30. And the carrots produce 65. Times 2, times 2. We have our first death from food. We might need to just jump back a little earlier. Uh, to where we can provide food a little bit earlier. And instead of building the wheat field, just build another potato field. So that way we could have a more diverse diet and increase the uh, working hours too. So that way we can have food. So it's at 99, this is at 73, this is at 68. Nice. So there's that harvest now. And people can eat food now from the grill. Eighty-three, eighty-two. so carrots should be able to be provided. A little bit of a drop in the population. Well, what's the... Oh, red means they're tired. Are they just blacking out? Nice. Nice. Wow, you can be as cruel as you want. All right, folks. Well, that is it for today's episode. What I'm going to do is just jump back to where uh, we were building our farms and correct the whole potato thing. It is interesting to see what happens. They don't move out. They literally just die. So we'll uh, correct that little farm there, and it should be fine with the food. And if you want to see more of this game, make sure you smash that like button. Otherwise, this will be our last episode for a while as we kind of seen everything that there is to do in the game except for the end game stuff. So if you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button. And I will be happy to bring back some more Timberborn. This game is awesome. I really like this. There's a lot of really long end game stuff to get to, but eh, maybe we'll get there someday. I like this game, though, and I wouldn't mind grinding through it if you want to see more. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.